With the huge demand for food assistance, it's still quite crowded in Plant City, where Hurricane Irma victims have been waiting in line for hours now to get back on their feet. And you can see from this video from earlier today, traffic backed up four miles. This is off of I-4. ABC Action News reporter Andrea Lyon has been out in Plant City to explain how you can still get help after the storm. Andrea. Well, today is the final day out here in Plant City where hurricane victims have been waiting in hours just to see if they will be approved for those hurricane related food stamps. You can see just how long this line stretches. Right there. A massive multi day operation it's kind of started out slow and then ramps up over time. Employees seeing at least 8,000 families a day. And that's every day. Hurricane Irma victims working their way through a traffic backup leading from I-4 to the Plant City Stadium. Exactly three hours doing paperwork, line and all. Once there, the wait is not nearly as long. A paper application, a few questions, and most people are approved. This program is meant for people who are living paycheck to paycheck. A mathematical equation makes the decision for DCF workers. Your income, family size and hurricane damage are all taken into account. Substantial loss or damage or substantial evacuation costs. We're just going to a hard time right now, but I think we're going to come better. While most are happy about the outcome, some are stuck outside wondering what theirs will even be. That was 45 minutes ago and they, it hasn't even moved a mile yet. DCF will not allow in anyone on foot, which caught many people off guard. You don't have a car. That's discrimination. You don't have a car, we're not going to help you. The state says they will accommodate people without cars, but like everyone else, in this line, they will have to wait. The sixth and final day here in Plant City may be worth the chaos. I was approved for quite a bit. But if you plan on trying it again at future sites, DCF says plan ahead. Because that's when it's actually really slow, and that's the best day to get in and get out. I got more than what I thought I was going to get, and I'm very, very happy, and I'm very pleased. Now, DCF has told us they've seen multiple people come out here trying to uh, cheat the system, coming out here trying to apply twice. It won't work. There will be an alert in their system alerting fraud. You could be charged if you are lying on those applications. Also, again, this is the final day out here in Plant City. They cut this line off starting at 6 p.m., but if you didn't make it out here, don't worry. They will be bringing this specific site to Sarasota on the 13th. Live in Plant City, Andrea Lyon, ABC Action News. Andrea, thank you. Meanwhile, we want to make sure that you can find the SNAP benefits site nearest to you so you can apply for help too. As Andrea mentioned, Sarasota County opens its site on Friday and we found out today Polk County's program kicks off Saturday. In Manatee, you can apply beginning on Sunday and the registration in Pasco starts October 22nd.